Hello everyone. In last tutorial, we have seen different data types that is available in Codices software. So we have discussed about Boolean, okay, bool data type, then integer data types, then we have discussed about floating data types. Okay. Now in this tutorial, we will see how to provide addresses in order to access these different different data types or in order to connect our input and output then in order to program your logic in codices software okay so first thing that when we are going to provide boolean logics so for that that addressing type that we are going to use here octal type okay means as we have seen in boolean we have only 8 bits okay means in order to perform one boolean operation of an digital switch that is on or off we required only one bit okay so for boolean operation in one channel we have 8 bits okay so for that that addressing type that we have for boolean operation is octal type okay so here first we will see what is the addressing so as you know in your plc we have already discussed we have input module okay then we have output module now suppose this is first input we are connecting with your plc then second input likewise we have many inputs here okay then your common okay so here how your plc will recognize that that your first input status is changing okay if you change the status of that switch suppose i change the status of 15th input let this is our 15th input okay now how your plc processor will recognize that status of your 15th input is changed okay so for that you required a perfect addressing so your processor will understand when the status related with this input okay suppose here addressing is there um, take as any number take it as 15 okay now if the bit that we are taking on 15 is change its status from 0 to 1 so your plc will understand that the 15th number of input is changing its status similarly whatever logic you have provided according to that your plc has to actuate your output okay so how plc recognize that which output it has to actuate okay so in order to we have a specific addressing for a particular output okay so here for representing inputs okay we have addressing as percentage i x okay then first see as you know i will represent your input okay then x will represent your data type okay so data type that we are using here for inputs okay we are talking about digital inputs so it will be your bool okay then after that percentage ix you have 4000 okay so this is the your channel number okay then in one channel as i already told you for boolean operations we required one bit so in one channel we have eight bits so for first input your address will be channel number then bit number so bit number for first input it will start from zero okay that will be your bit number okay then after that it will go up to percentage i x 4000.7 okay 8 bits okay. 
so here your first input status will be stored that will be your this channel is 4000 okay so this bit will be 0 then 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then your 7 okay after that if you have to connect your 8th output then you have to go for next channel that will be your 4001 then your 8th output will come here as 4001.0 okay so we will type here percentage ix 4001.0 okay then your 16 input will come here as percentage ix 4000.7 similarly this will go up to channel number percentage ix 4095 okay so 95 channel we have from 0 to 95 that is total is 96 we have for digital inputs okay here it will come as 4095.7 okay so this is for input addressing now for output addressing So here in your PLC if you have to actuate your first output so how you will give address here so percentage QX okay Q will represent your output okay X as we seen it is represent your boolean okay data type that is bool okay then here also first channel that is 4000.0 okay so here this is your channel number and this will be your bit number okay then similarly it is also output we are talking about for digital output okay it will go up to percentage qx 4000.7 then if you see here it will go same thing percentage qx 4095.0 up to percentage qx 4095.7 okay this is the digital output address now as we have already discussed in plc's we have auxiliary relays okay as you seen here in plc that input address that we have given it will be connected with an physical input device second input will be connected with physical input device that the status of that input will be changed by your physical device okay we can change uh, through software also but for that we require fourth bit okay so here basically in normal condition if we have to change the status of input addresses okay suppose first input that is over percentage ix 4000.0 if its status is changes here that value will also change in the okay suppose that switch is in off condition here first zero will come if switch is in on condition okay here one will come okay so these are the input and output addresses that will be connected with physical devices okay now in plc's in order to store status of input and output okay because we know in plc we have fixed number of input and output addresses okay that will be available on our plc hardware so we are not able to waste them okay so in order to do programming we have some free spaces okay these are the known as auxiliary relays or you can say internal relays in plc okay so these are available in the plc memories 
that we can use in order to store the status of input and output okay so how to provide that status here so for memory okay first you have to write percentage mx okay so m will represent your memory x as you can see it will represent your bool okay then you have to give your slot number okay after that dot then your channel number okay so here channel number is starting from 0 okay from 0 slot 0 channel number then you have to provide your bit address okay in which bit you want to store the status of input output then as we have seen for boolean we have only 8 bits in one channel so it will go up to mx 0.0.7 okay then after that it will go up to your percentage mx 0 0.40 slot 2047.02 percentage mx 0 0.2047.7 okay so likewise we can use memories means if we have to use first memory in order to store the status of input and output we have to write address there at percentage mx 0 0.0.0, .0 okay then after that as we have discussed about integer data types okay in last tutorial as you can see here integer data types so here in order to use that integer data types okay if you have to use word value okay or integer value okay for using word and integer value you have to provide your address as percentage m okay then w m will represent your memory then w will represent your word okay then you have to provide your slot number okay then after that you have to provide your channel number okay this will be your slot number okay this will be your channel number so as we are taking word or integer for that we require 16 bit okay as we have discussed okay as you can see integer and word we require 16 bit so here there is no need to specify bit address okay it will write its values in complete channel okay then after that if you have to write double word or double integer okay for that you have to write as percentage m okay then d it will represent your double word or double integer then same thing colon number sorry slot number okay then your channel number okay so as we have seen for boolean operation means in one channel we have only 8 bits okay one channel we have only 8 bits okay so here as you have as you are seeing word values and double words values we are going to write in only memory space okay you can see m will represent your memory space now how it will write their values okay 
सो वेन वी आर टेकिंग बुलियन ऑपरेशन ओके दैट इज मेमोरी स्पेस ओके सो हियर वी आर टेकिंग चैनल नंबर देन सॉरी स्लोट नंबर देन चैनल नंबर देन बिट नंबर ओके आफ्टर दैट वी हैजेंट रिक्वायर्ड इन वर्ड और इंटीजर और डबल वर्ड और डबल इंटीजर बिट नंबर ओके बिकॉज दे विल राइट देयर वैल्यूज इन कंप्लीट चैनल सो एज यू कैन सी फॉर वर्ड वी रिक्वायर्ड सिक्सटीन बिट and for double word we require 13 to bit but as we have seen in one channel we have only 8 bits okay so how they will write their values so let's see okay so suppose this is my slot number 0.0 okay and this is my here i am writing slot number this is my channel number okay in this i have only 8 bits okay now if i am using percentage mw 0.0 okay for that we required 16 bit so automatically it will write it value in zero channel also and one channel also it will use the bits of both the channels okay you can see so total bits will be over 16 okay then if you are writing percentage mw 0.1 then it will write its value in the channel number 0.2 or 0.3 okay then this is the case for 16 bit then if i am writing percentage md 0.0 okay that is double word or double integer for that we require 13 to bit now it will write it value from 0.00 0.1 0.2 and 0.3 it will take consecutive four channels in order to write 32 bit data okay if i write percentage md 0.1 then it will take channel number from 0.4 0.5 0.6 and 0.7 in order to store its content whatever content in this 32 bit word it will store in these four channels that is 4 5 6 7 so likewise memory space is used in your codices so we have seen how to give address okay for inputs for outputs then for free boolean memory bits then we have seen how to provide address for word or integer okay so these are the addressing format in your codices